Well, Barry, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, catch up with you and reflect a little bit on, on some of your past champions, but also talk about what's unfolding at the moment. And we've come to this beautiful property here of, of yours, and uh, yeah, what a wonderful setup to, to train the standard bread, eh? Yeah, no, it's good. We're pretty fortunate, actually. We've got a, got a nice setup and the system works well. Let's talk about the early days. Um, obviously, your dad created the dynasty which has continued not only through yourself but your brothers etc yep. um, what can you remember about those those uh, early days with your dad training the horses was it instant for you were you were you straight into them at a very young age oh yeah I was I, I you know I really enjoyed the horses and uh, <clears throat> it was always and there was never going to be anything else and um, yeah I can even remember going to school on, on the holidays and be with dad uh, while he's going to the stables with him when we were at Pukekohe <clears throat> so um, it was only natural that it just moved from there. What about school? Much good to you? Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of lunch? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no. Footy? You, you enjoyed your rugby? Yeah, I like, like, like my rugby, but um, yeah, there was no sort of chance of being an All Black. So that, <laughs> that went on the back burner. That <laughs> went on the back burner. So, uh, and being involved in horses, it was always going to be difficult to really uh, participate to any any decent sort of uh, capacity anyway, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's right. I was right into the driving then in those days, and um, um, it just sort of took up so much of the time, the training of the horses, and, and of course race nights um, and the travelling. So um, yeah, it just sort of went by the way. Stake wise and race winning wise, combined with your father, you had a spell there with um, Scott Phelan too. I think yeah. you're up to about twenty eight million dollars in stakes, Barry. Right. Um, and 2,200 odd winners, maybe even a few more that I might have missed, but that's some record. Yeah, no, we've been fortunate really. We've had some wonderful horses and uh, and some wonderful people too uh, working here. So, no, things have ticked along good. Yeah. You always sure. have an eye for the very big races. The biggest race of them all is the New Zealand Cup and in the 70s. You had a mighty pacer with your dad called Soul Command and got you a win in the New Zealand Cup in the hands of one of our greatest ever. P.T. Wolfenden. Peter Wolfenden, yeah, Peter Draven. It's my first year of training with Dad, actually, yeah. not that I had much to do with it, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I was 21 at the time when he won the Cup. What do you remember about the day, Barry? What, what, what stands out other than the fact that it was the greatest win uh, at that stage of your Well, I remember it well, because I actually drove final curtain and he missed away. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember it pretty good, but, um, yeah, I remember uh, Peter driving sole command around the bend. He was fighting it out with Greg Robinson up the straight and um, yeah he managed to prevail in the end he was, he was a lovely horse he was quite strong pretty tough mm. over a 20 year period through the 70s 80s uh, with your father yep. got 18 out of 20 premierships like never before had we seen such dominance and we're probably never like well we're definitely never likely to see it again that's a, a remarkable record in itself yeah well we had a Quite a big team in work. And How many, Barry? What, what sort of numbers oh, can you well, recall? Well, then one part of it, there were probably up to 60 horses, which yeah. is a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, we sort of split them up a bit, and Dad did one side and I did the other, and, and um, so we worked it that way. And um, and then Dad bought another place down on Birdside Road, actually. So I just, Owen and I bought this property. <clears throat> and uh, we sort of kicked off when I was about 27, I suppose. I mm. want to talk to you about, well, one of my favourite stayers of all time. Luxury liner, the horse by Mercedes. Yep. We ran a couple of placings in a New Zealand Cup. Brent Mangos drove him. Yeah, Brent drove uh, him, Back yep. then. Yep. And a New Zealand Cup in 1988 where he went to war with one of the greats of Australasian mm. harness racing and Vinnie mm. Knight and our maestro. But uh, a terrific staying performance and, and just a wonderful racehorse. Yeah, I remember that race well. He, 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 was, a, he, was, he was tough, really tough. And uh, <clears throat> I think he was last at the mile, with a mile to go, and Tony took off with him, and he was in front at the top of the stroke at Addington uh, with a lap to go, and then Master Mood sort of stuck it to him a wee bit. And uh, our maestro put about a length on him at the top of the stroke, but he came back. There's not many horses will be headed yeah, they're, they're travelling okay, but once they headed, they really just sort of, you know, that's it. But um, by gee, he was a determined horse. He could just put his ears back on his neck and and come back again. He was, he did that actually in the Trial Memorial, and he won that too, the same thing. 
Yeah, terrifically gutsy horse. Power Maestro's hit the front now. 200 to go. He's starting to come to the end of it, but he's in front, and Luxury Line is cutting him down again on the inside. And Speedy Chevelle's coming at them. It's our Maestro, but he's got in the wobbles. Luxury Liner getting through on the inside. Luxury Liner, our Maestro can't do any better. Luxury Liner's won the New Zealand Cup. A wonderful performance from a New Zealand stop stayer. From him, bang, straight into the gentleman of harness racing and Christopher Vance. Yeah, he was. Yeah, you could just about take him in your house. Yeah. Yeah, lovely horse. Um, he won the Derby, and I'm not sure about his four-year-old season. Um, yeah. He won a New Zealand Cup, Auckland Cup. Yeah. Just a brilliant race. Yeah, Miracle Mile. Miracle Mile. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lovely horse. Christopher Vance, Clancy's full of running, breaking up Master Musician. Then Lord Magic getting through on the inside and further out the bruiser. Starship heads for home now. 200 metres to go, but it's headed by Sermo Way, but Christopher Vance charges to the lead. And it's Christopher Vance from Clancy and further out the bruiser. They race their way down the straight. Christopher Vance, Clancy's trying to wear it down. Coming strongly as the bruiser, but Christopher Vance has won the cup. At a Dominion Series early 90s, Alexandra Park. Chris Vance was the most favoured of your team, but yep. Mark Hanover. Mark Hanover won it, Mark Droving. Mark Droving, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Vance had a flat tyre with a lap that night. He ran second too, yeah, didn't he? Franco Ice, I think, was up yeah. there. Yeah. Yep, yep. Great right field, wasn't it? Yeah, it too? was a great field. They swing in now, and Reba Lord on the outside, and the Bruiser on the inner. Down the outside is Mark Hanover. Coming through in the centre is Christopher Vance. Wider out here is Hickey Lord. At the 150, Mark Hanover. Christopher Vance won't give in on the inside. It's Christopher Vance and Mark Hanover. They're down to a ding-dong. Nothing between the two of them. Mark Hanover's won the Golden the golden Jubilee Lace Band in the Dominion final, I'd say. I've been lucky enough to sit down, not only with your father, but also with, with Tony and... Although loath to label the greatest horse he's ever driven, Tony had a special spot for choking. Yeah, I think he's the greatest horse I've ever trained. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, he had a few problems, <clears throat> but he was a wonderful horse. He was the first horse to break the, the, the four minutes at Alexandra Park, actually. In the old days, in the old track, a remarkable effort. And, um, yeah, he was just a He had his challenges, horse. Barry, and, and I think one of the most remarkable uh, transitions, if you like, from a horse lying on a track in a Miracle Mile mm. as a three-year-old, mm. to get him back mm. and do what he did at four and five and beyond, is that up there with your, with, with the, oh. with, with your highest achievements? Yeah, I think so, probably, Greg. He, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a sad day that day to see him do that. I mean, um, it's a water under the bridge now, but uh, uh, when he came back, he, he didn't look that flash. He had a, quite a bad bow tendon. And, <clears throat> when he came back to us at yeah. the end of his three-year-old season, but uh, no, he just started on him quietly, and he never looked back. He, he was he was wonderful. He was great gated horse. He was terrific balance. Yeah, terrific balance. And at high speed. He at high just, speed, yeah. yeah, he could run a sub-26 quarter then. You know, and that's and he'd done that. He'd done that in track work actually. The 1993 DB Draft New Zealand Cup. It's led by Choken. He turns for home in front. Christopher Vance is struggling a bit. So goes going to get the gap on the outside in a minute. And Master Musician and Giovanetto's looking for the run in the inner. And Blossom Ladies wider in the track. It's Choken in front. Master Musician and Blossom Ladies trying to cut them down on the outside. It's Choken. Master Musician and Blossom Lady and Giovanetto. But Choken's won the cup. A, a remarkable career and um, yep. yeah, he even got promoted into Dominion at Addington, didn't he? He ended up running about fifth, I think he ended up second after uh, yes, quite a few yeah. of the... Uh, yeah, he ran fourth actually. Uh, fourth, uh, yeah. He ran up running second, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, he was scratched out of a few finals, probably three of them actually. Yeah. Yeah, he just um, yeah had a little bit of a bleed sometimes, so I can say that now, it's history, yeah. but... Um, it it didn't help. It, well, it didn't help him, it probably stopped him, to be honest, what he... Sort of really achieved.